Once upon a time in a small kingdom far, far away, once the home of legendary Vikings and the famous Hans Christian Andersen, nowadays known for its long line of strong women, the Little Mermaid, the Queen, the Prime Minister, and a remarkable lady named Nicolina, who founded Royal Unibrew in the year 1901. Nicolina, a young widow, had to overcome many fierce challenges to build a successful company, and her strong values of ambition, commitment and social responsibility live on in Royal Unibrew to this day. In the early 70s, Royal Unibrew and PepsiCo started cooperation, and today Royal Unibrew has grown into a top modern bottling facility, ensuring a very efficient line, while at the same time reducing water and energy and being a global leader in recycling of cans and bottles. Throughout the years, Royal Unibrew was always the smaller player in the market, often bullied and threatened by its larger rivals. However, together with PepsiCo, Royal Unibrew was never afraid to take on the challenge. And who dares wins? It's in our DNA to be a challenger. The secret to our success lies in three magic touches. Firstly, it's about our people, it's about our values, and it's about our culture. Royal Unibrew has a highly skilled and diverse sales force, all empowered to make a difference towards the customers. All employees live and breathe the Royal Unibrew values, and that translates into a very strong winning spirit. Secondly, as we do not have the deep pockets like the competition, we simply have to work smarter. In 2013, PepsiCo was outspent 24 to 1 by its red rival and yet managed to win 9.4% share points of the non-sugar cola market. This has been achieved by a targeted effort to reach the right consumers, leveraging digital media and building equity through consumption. Royal Unibrew recently won a prestigious effectiveness award for Pepsi Max advertising and despite being outspent year on year, brand equity is growing far ahead of the competition. And lastly, we work hard every day in the trade. By putting consumers and customers at the heart of everything they do, Royal Unibrew and PepsiCo simply keep winning the biggest Danish accounts and events, like Jensen's Bufhus, Tivoli, and Eurovision. Despite being the smallest player, and the results of this magic have been phenomenal. In 2013, Royal Unibrew grew volume 23% and reached the highest volume ever in the history of PepsiCo in Denmark. PepsiCo won in all segments and manifested itself as a true leader within non-sugar cola, growing PepsiMax share by 17% and ending up the year twice the size of Zero and Light combined. But the story doesn't end here. In late 2013, Royal Unibrew acquired the PepsiCo bottler in Finland. Building on more than 40 years of strong collaboration with PepsiCo, we look forward to create new joint successes in Finland. So we are all eagerly awaiting the next chapters in the fairy tale of Royal Unibrew and PepsiCo. But that is a story for another time. And the moral of this story is, even though you are small and come from a tiny country in a remote corner of the world, when great partners come together, magic things happen. <laughs>